Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to our Cabling Arena channel and this is our EP003. And together with me, we have Kenshin on the line. Hi Kenshin, good afternoon. Good afternoon everyone, <laughs> welcome back. Alright, so uh, Kenshin, I think uh, about a week ago, we have got a session to talk about how fast we can get a CAT6 UTP termination done, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you, you know beat that? me in that competition, you done faster. So when I went home, I keep trying and terminate again to improve my own timing. Yeah, and then uh, after that, you can see that now here. The termination is actually still here. <laughs> I didn't dismantle the thing yet. So today, what we are going to talk about is when you are having a scenario that you couldn't afford to terminate a modular jack. For an example, you got a connection that you have to get hold of the copper solid cable from a box, a big box, right? To be connected onto those devices like wireless access point, like uh, this uh, wireless camera, Wi-Fi camera, uh, this uh, IP camera. All these special devices do require a direct connection and you couldn't afford to have a modular jacks and another patch cords for you to just patch it over. Then in th that scenario, what can you do? I immediately, I would think of three solutions. The first one is the, the unprofessional way of doing, which is use the plug aging pole. This is the one. To, yeah. Correct. Mm. So so then uh, we can DIY and terminate, install this uh, switching toe on the cable and that's the first way. But However, fact, for me, uh, this one is going to be very, very troublesome. First of all, I do not have the tool. Second, I actually find it very, very challenging to insert all eight wires into that plug. And the average time for me to get one plug to be done is as long as 15 minutes. So it's yeah. not practical at all. What is the second way of doing it? The second way is to use a surface mount box to put on the jack, okay? okay. So they can attach uh, the, the jack itself in the ceiling or in, in areas that, uh, I that you want to connect metal, to the right? AC. Yeah, I have suggested this metal or uh, this method to many, many different customers, but they find it is too tedious. And moreover, it's actually another layer of single point failure while you have got this plug over here, am I right? That's why yeah. they telling me that I have no choice. I have no choice. Okay. I must get direct combinations, but this is too tedious for me. So I think right. it's got to be the third choice that you are talking about. What is that? So something new and interesting that has been introduced to the industry is what we call a fuel termination plug. Mm -hmm. So this looks like a hybrid between a jack and a modular plug. I see. So I think I think the benefit is that uh, you can now do direct connections with uh, the cable connecting terminating to this fuel termination plug, and then plug in directly to your AP la access point camera or any uh, IoT devices. And the benefit, the beauty of this product is that it's certified by the uh, standard. So that means that you can actually get it approved and with come with a warranty system warranty of between 15 to 25 years. I see. So for instance, this is the fuel terminal conduit and the performance is CAT 6A performance, right, Kenshin? And Correct. you can do Compatible. cables. That means uh, when you install this onto a CAT 6 cable, you will still expect a gigabit internet performance from this fuel terminal plug. So I would like to make a very fast termination process for this fuel terminal plug and Kenshin. You can just help me to do the time. First of all, what we're going to do is to strip off the jacket by using a stripper about an inch away from the uh, jacket. And then the next thing we're going to do is to cut away the rip cord and also the separator or we call it a cross filler in the jacket. Then the next thing we will do is to start to arrange the wiring into the termination cap. So, of course, as per the TG jack uh, termination technique as mentioned, what we will be following is the left and right hand side of the coloring code. So the left side will be the blue, brown, and the right hand side will be orange and green. 
So the next thing we will do is to insert the four pairs into the termination caps and to get ready on our next termination process. So I will need to put a little bit of efforts in order to get these four different color of uh, wiring into the termination cap. So sometimes you will realize that uh, the cable is going to be having some difficulty in getting into the cap and what you will do is to cut one of the pair, uh, two of the pairs to make it shorter in order to be able to get into the wiring cap easier. See, this is the trick. The next thing we will do is to untwist the wire and to slot in the designated slots as per the color coding as required. So this is orange, orange, white and the TG Jack series is pretty unique. The white is always on the left hand side and the colored one will be always on the right hand side and just to follow away or near to you. The next thing we will do is to cut away all the remaining wires. So we are now ready for the cable insertion. So next thing we will do is to just insert the termination cap onto the RJ45 plug and to slot into this termination tool. And by the time you hear a click sound, stop. We are done. And this is how we get a RJ45 view terminable plug done. So, Kevin, you know what? Now, you took two yes. minutes and 23 seconds to have it two completed. Minutes and 23 seconds. I think uh, uh, part of the 10 seconds uh, belongs to the uh, this uh, difficulty on getting in uh, <laughs> the, into the termination cap, right? So, it's a good trick that you I'll, share. It's a good trick. Yeah. Yes, so it's a trick that you just cut, uh, uh, make the two the two of the four pairs are shorter in order to ex uh, enter uh, all these termination cap slots or successfully, accurately. So now, this is the RJ45 plug that you have done and this is going to be a EIA, TIA and ISO compliant product with 25 years warranty that you can insert into the modular jack for Wi-Fi access point, and then uh, for uh, this uh, IP camera, as well as any kind of RJ45, uh, these are uh, network devices that you couldn't afford to have a, a modular jack and also a surface mount box or faceplate to get uh, connections done. And you may be curious why we would need to have this modular jack design kind of modular plug to be terminated onto this solid cable. There is a differences in between this type of conventional RJ45 flux cables and also these terminable flux cables in there. And we'll be sharing this in details on our next session. Stay tuned and thank you very much for your watch today. Bye. Bye-bye. Can see you next round. <laughs>